వెల్కమ్ టు లాజికల్ ఆయుర్వేద లాస్ట్ వీక్ వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ కఫవాతజ అండ్ పిత్తవాత మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ వైపాధిక దిస్ వీక్ వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఎక్స్క్లూసివ్లీ కేవల వాతజ మేనిఫెస్టేషన్ హౌ హౌ ఎక్స్ట్రీమ్ కేవల వాత కేసెస్ క్రానిక్ కేసెస్ హౌ షుడ్ బి ట్రీట్ వైపాధిక సో ఇన్ ఫస్ట్ స్టేజ్ కఫవాత దట్ ఈస్ బోత్ కఫ అండ్ వాత ఈస్ ఆఫ్ శీతవీర్య సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ ఉష్ణ స్నిగ్ధ యాజ్ అ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఇన్ సెకండ్ కేస్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు గివ్ బోత్ పిత్త అండ్ వాత manifestation is there so we have to give a treatment which is sita and snigdha we have discussed like mahatikta gridam and all those stuff so in last case in kevala vata the vata will be jumping from vata has a nature vata is like a monkey it will jump from one tree to another tree similarly in kevala vata cases in summer season also the vaipadika the problem of cracking and pain will increase in winter season also will increase because vata is predominantly ruksha guna so ruksha also increases in grishma and ruksha also in this is in winter season so whenever there is dryness there will be always increase in vaipadika there will be increase in exfoliation and there will be increase in the cracking and there will be increase in the pain so how to handle this we have to give a treatment that is both ushna and snigdha in nature so the predominantly for kevala vata vaipadika it will be always for chronic patients sir i have this problem of uh, cracking foot since 7 years i have this problem of cracking foot since 8 years so all that being said even in kevala vata the pitta should not be ignored most of the times what i treat uh, when i treat patients they will ha- they will be having little ushna in the back which is also be running it will be predominantly tridoshaja so if we give too much of ushna medicines then also it, the condition will get increased so most of the cases the prescription will be ushna and snigdha by that case internally either indukandam gridam or gugulu tikta gridam can be given if you uh, if you think that the patient is of pitta prakriti or pitta nature or lives in hot season in hot climate in hot pradeshas etc you can miss guluchadi kashayam along with indukandam gridha or guluchadi kashaya along with gugulu tikta gridam if patient palatability is a question you can also go for gulucharya kashayam tablet and indukantham gritham capsule or guggul tikta gritham capsule you can add both of that and give this to the patient for a long period of time for 3 months or 6 months as a treatment so for external application if you can always in kevala vata stage jeevantiyadi emakam is the best choice of the prescription jeevantiyadi emakam works wonders in such cases in cracked food which is there for chronic if exfoliation is also present along with the cracking then you can mix ayyapala keratailam along with jeevanti adhikritam so it also reduces the, the this combination reduces the itching gives more snigdhata uh, reduces the cracks so this is one of the successful uh, combination in the clinical practice you can mix ayyapala keratailam along with the jeevanti adhikritam where psoriasis is present where along with the cracked food exfoliation is more in such cases you can proceed you can give jeevanti adhikritam along with the ayyapala keratailam so internally we can give panchatikta krita gukulu that is ushna snigdha it reduces uh, if the patient has, does not have agni to digest gukulu tikta kritham or indukandam kritham we can you always go for nimba amritasava it is little snigdha nimba amritasava can be initially given and later we can shift to kritha if the patient is also having pitta along with them you can choose mahatiktakam along with nimba amritasava mahatikta kashayam along with the nimba amritasam that combinations can be given for external applications also depending upon the conditions um, you can also choose jatiyadi krita or jatiyadi dhaila and we can apply externally rasotamadi lepa as well so to sum it all up if a kevala vata condition the diseases increases both in winter season and summer season the disease is chronic so in such diseases we have to treat uh, basically we have to treat vata so we have to give ushna and snigdha the prescription should contain sneha internally and externally either krita or taila so such kind of prescription should be chosen uh, it's not necessarily that you have to choose only krita you can also choose like the danvantaram 101 uh, 45 drops taila or you can also choose gandha telam etc depending on the condition you can choose whatever medicine that is ushna and snigdha in nature so for external application we can use choose jeevantiyadi kritam jatiyadi tela jatiyadi kritam rasotamadi lepa etc uh if exfoliation is present you can uh, add ayapalakeratailam along with the jeevanti adhikrita as a combination uh, thank you